Good morning, folks. We've got solar eruptive activity continuing, including a small one that appears to be aimed at Earth from this morning. We'll hit three top science stories as well in the articles, but we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. For much of the last day, things remained pretty quiet, but in terms of flaring and filament activity, the uptick is continuing. In the last few hours of the early morning here, one of the plasma filaments just south of the solar equator and incoming from the limb did erupt along with one from the limb simultaneously. The one from the limb will miss Earth, but the filament near Earth-facing central longitudes probably has an Earth-directed component to it. That is visible on early coronagraph images here this morning. I'll be confirming on the C3 camera and endless spirals today. It's likely that impact to Earth would occur between Monday night and Tuesday night. We'll be watching. It shouldn't be too scary, but could produce geomagnetic storms. First article today is from NOAA as we come up to the peak of the sunspot cycle later this year. They're expecting more space weather events and more geomagnetic storms. And remember, the geomagnetic activity continues to remain high for a year or two after the peak as well. So folks, space weather high cycle just breaking open here. Up next, adding one to the very long list of problems for the dark matter model, this time with the falsification to the universal radial acceleration relationship in galaxies. It was presumed to be fact based on a very limited amount of data, but it now appears it is not a true feature of the cosmos. Turns out the matter and the rotational dynamics are not quite as related as they had believed. Lastly here in the articles, an excellent paper on the recurrence of super floods. We have discussed this several times as being on increasing severity with increasing timelines, decadal, 100-year storms, 1,000-year storms, and so on. Good data confirming the extreme version and their recurring nature here. And yes, we are due for this on a global scale as Earth's magnetic field continues weakening in the ongoing excursion and magnetic pole shift. Folks, Jimmy and I had a great time on Tim Pool's Culture War show. They broke the live viewing record for the Tenant Media channel. On their page here, you can go to the live button in the menu, and then our stream should be easy to find. I'd love if you would check that out and leave a positive comment. The whole show was fun, but the first hour was absolutely epic. Link is below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.